today I'm going to be performing and teaching you a really really cool card trick I think you're going to like. Also, we are nearly at 300 subscribers. Once we do hit 300 subscribers, I will be doing a giveaway. So make sure you all subscribe to the channel. Also, all my social media will be linked down below. Let's get into the trick. Alright, so what we're going to do, we're going to try to shuffle like this. And I can show you now all the cards are different. What they used to do is say stop, stop like there. And then we'll have a look at the card. So it's the Jack of Diamonds. So we'll take the Jack of Diamonds and we'll get that somewhat lost in the centre of the deck. Like so, so now it's not on top and it's not on bottom. But if you give the cards a quick snap, we'll make it jump to the top. Okay, that's all done with slight hand magic, it's very easy to do. But what if we did this? We make the Jack of Diamonds vanish like this, and that's going to make it hard, obviously. But pretend the Jack of Diamonds is still there, the Jack of Diamonds is still um, on, on top of the deck, face up, but obviously it's quite hard to see it, obviously. But what I like to do is take it out, just pretend you're taking it out, pinch it. Over. So obviously now it's nowhere to be seen, I can see, it's nowhere to be seen there, and also it's nowhere to be seen here. But watch this though, take the card, obviously it was face up, I want you to flip it over face down, and I want to double it down the cards like this, and I want you to just smack it in. So, you drop them down, and you smack it in, hopefully. So reset the cards on the table, and we'll snap. I'm hoping things have worked. There's one card face down in the deck. And it's your card, the Jack of Diamonds. That is the trick, guys, and let's move on to the tutorial. Alright, so this is the tutorial of the trick you just saw. Now, there is a beginner way and an advanced way of this trick. Um, I'm going to show you time frames of pretty much where the beginner way is and the advanced way throughout the tutorial. So, yeah, it's kind of like a block of the tutorial of this type thing. What you're going to do is you're going to show all the cards are different, like so. You can give the cards a quick shuffle what you want to do. Now, what you're going to do here is you're going to pretty much let the pick, spectator pick a card, so let's say they pick a piece of King of Diamonds, you're going to control it to the top, however you way you like, so now it's on top. You're going to do a double lift to show it's not on top, and it's not on bottom. You're going to snap to show it comes to the top. Now, I'm going to go for the um, beginner run down right now, if you're an advanced magician or an intermediate magician, magician, skip this time frame on screen right now for your part of this bit. Alright, for your beginners over here, so you're going to show it's came to the top like so. You're going to flip that over like this. Now what you're going to do is you're going to do a Cardini change. Now this is angle sensitive to Cardini change. If you do not know how to do a Cardini, to Cardini change, it'll be linked down below and up there on the screen right now. Once it's like this, you're ready to go. Okay, so what you're going to do now is you're going to say to the spectator, I'm going to take your card like this and you're going to hold it, just pretend it's still there. Now, the next part of this tutorial will be on the time frame for your beginners right here on the screen right now. Alright, for you intermediate magicians and advanced magicians. So you're going to do a Cardini change. If you do not know how to do a Cardini change, you'll be linked down below. So you're going to do your Cardini change, obviously angle sensitive, obviously. So once it's like that, you're now going to say to the spectator, I want you to take the card out like so. Now, once you've done, once you said that, take the card out like so, now I'm going to do a pass. Now this is, I don't know what the name of this pass is, it's pretty much the pass where you flip it over like that, but it's hidden obviously. So you're going to say, I'm going to take it out, do your pass like so. Now you've got the card flipped over. Okay. Now for your intermediate magicians, the next part of this tutorial will be up on screen right now. So make sure you skip to that time frame if you're intermediate or an advanced magician. All right, for your beginner magician. So once the card is now, you've done the card and you're changing it's now here. You're now going to cut the cards. You can say so you're holding your invisible card like so, because now the card is nowhere to be seen. Now when you've cut the cards, okay, you're going to block spread so you don't show this. Okay. So you're going to make sure when you do your cut from the bottom to the middle, make sure you do it like halfway so you know where so I position it's here. So you're going to do a block spread to show it's now no longer here. You're now going to say, what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip the cards like this and I want you to pretty much put your card in like so when I when you do it. So you're going to ripple it down like this. Make sure you don't flash it. So make sure you do it quick, okay? And they're going to put it in whenever they want. So they're going to put it in, like say right there, invisibly. And you're going to snap, just spread over like so and find the face down card. And there it is. The spectator can take it out and then that is it. That is the beginner way of doing this trick. A lot of easy and quite difficult slides to learn but uh, it's easier than the advanced way and the intermediate way. But make sure you try and learn the advanced and intermediate way just so you get it down. Alright advanced magician. So once the card, you've done your card, now it's face down like this. You're now going to do a turnover pass. So you're going to show, you're obviously holding your card so there's nowhere to be seen in here. You're now going to catch a break underneath like half on like the half the deck. And you're going to do a turnover pass like so. Now once you've done a turnover pass, 
you're now going to spread out like this. Do a block spread, okay? So pretty much a block spread is you're gonna try and guess where they face down for you're gonna do a block spread like this to show it's nowhere to be seen. So what you're gonna do now is you're gonna flip the deck and you're going to dribble to the side like this, okay? Make sure you don't flash the king of diamonds, obviously. So you're gonna do your dribble like this and they're gonna place the face up card in because obviously when you vanish it was face up. So you're gonna say place your face up and visit the card in. So you're gonna place it in, make sure you don't flash anything. You're gonna snap and you show, hopefully it's worked. And there it is, the king of diamonds, like so. And I'll be amazed. And that is the trick, guys. I really, really hope you all enjoyed it. Make sure you smash the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you are new. And yeah, I will see you all in another video, guys, soon. Peace out, everyone.